Galia punched their ticket to their fourth ever playoff appearance. Tonight, the number eight seed looked to defy all odds and deliver an upset to Danesville Blue Devils. Kelsey Steele is live out in Danesville right now. Kelsey, how did this matchup fare for you? You know, Danville, uh, Danville goes into their 32nd playoff uh, meeting in school history. Meanwhile, playing a team in South Gallia that's only been around for about 20 years. It's the ultimate David versus Goliath matchup, Justin. This time, it's a little bit different than that storybook ending. And a lot of Rebels faithful out in the crowd tonight. But it was Danville who got that opening possession. And boy, did they take advantage. Third play of the drive, Ridge Shaky Durbin drops it off to Cal Hanabarger. Just 34 seconds into the game, 7-0 Danville. South Gaia gets backed up now into their own one yard line after that kickoff. Loses their handle on the football. Blue Devils jump on it, 14-0 now. In Rebels' next possession, the Hutchison brothers connect there for a 10 yard gain. Can't make anything of it. So uh, Danville gets that chance to extend their lead, and they do just that. Durbin picks up 14 on the keeper. A few plays later, he calls on Hanna Barger once again. Nine-yard pickup eases his way into the end zone. 21-0. Rebel ball. Landon Hutchinson scrambles. Loads it over to Trenton Sturgeon. 17-yard pickup. Move those chains. South Gaia is in position. But that Danville D says not for long. Showcasing what each shutouts this year looks like tonight. And on their ensuing drive, Durbin connects with Kenton Mickley. And it's 28-0 in Danville. The best opportunity of the night here coming up next for South Gallia. Hutchison looks deep and gets a pass interference call here. Puts the Rebels on the 42. They turn over the ball two plays later. Sets up Durbin for a 7-yard TD run. And the tide just keeps on rolling. So much time for here for QB. Finds Mickley with ease. He goes on. Now, look at how tough this O-line is for Danville. One, two, three, four, five seconds. And Durbin finally gets rid of that. Hanabarger with the grab. 49-0 at the half. 63-0 is your final in Danville. Now, 512 total yards for that Danville offense. And what a night. For Rich, Ridge Durbin, 25 for 34, 284 yards. So Justin, what a talent they have in that QB. So, Kelsey, I only have one question for you. South Gallia knew they were going to have their hands full tonight. How did they handle Dansville's powerful offense? You know, it's hard to come into a place like Danville and get that win. I have to give credit to South Gallia, though. They have come such a long way in these last few years. They put up a fight with their talents and their weapons and their receivers, and especially Ridge Durbin, way too much to handle. What a kid they have in that guy. Excited to see where they go in the playoffs. Well, it was an exciting season for South Gallia, and they did a lot of, a lot of things right this year. Kelsey, thanks a lot. Now, we've talked a lot about